So we have a team three to present very interesting security services, yeah? How digital transformation trends for bodyguard services. Yeah? Before bodyguard just fired, right? Now how you use the technology to, you know, guard your safety. You're going after me. And uh, it's very interesting, right? The low end, high tech, trends for the low tech. Okay? So let's start, you have uh, 20 minutes to present. Okay. Uh, give me a second, let me start. Okay, you may start right now. Okay, good morning, Professor and um, classmates. Today we are going to present a very interesting uh, case of study that is uh, delivering beyond security service about certain Okay, our presentation is going to be divided in five parts. So first we're going to present a uh, certain background. Um, then we're going to present a consultative analysis of the company. Uh, for the third part, we are going to uh, present the, uh, the different digital transformation initiatives, um, some outcomes and risks. And for the fourth part, we are going to present our current issue that we found for this company and for the fifth part, uh, the decision and some recommendations. Okay, the, uh, about service, the sector or the industry that this company is, um, the, is about integrated security service company. Uh, they, their, their headquarters is located in Singapore, but they also work in other different uh, countries, for example, Australia, Hong Kong, Qatar, and China. Um, they are currently uh, employees for this year is are 27,000 um, and only in Singapore they have 16,000 employees. Uh, they also possess 28 patents and their vision for the future is that to be the most advanced in cyber security uh, service partner globally making our world more safer, uh, smarter and better by everything that they do. Okay, here is the timeline for CERTIS. Uh, they, as you can see here, they are a very um, experienced company. They began 60 more uh, years ago. But uh, at first they were a unit under the Singapore um, Police Force. Um, but in 2005, they become a private company. One uh, important uh, uh, year for them is that in 2008 they won the uh, Changi Airport Master Security Service contract. So since then they are um, in charge of uh, all the security of this airport. Another important is, um, point is that in 2010 they established a new non-security business. So we can see here that they diversified all, all, this, uh, all their market. In 2050, they also improve a trade market micro. This is um, a retail um, a shopping mall uh, operator. And, and 2016 is a very important because Singapore government encourages and supports digital transformation in traditional industries, and security is a non-traditional um, industry. Uh, moreover, in 2017, they also won a new five plus five year uh, to to Changi Airport uh, to make a more master security place. And as my other um, team members are going to present in 2018 and 2019, they incorporate digital twin and AR. Okay, uh, as you can see, they made some important decisions on makers. They are growing through diversification. They also have more industries um, and services, not only, um, not only in airports. They also work for health sector and retail. Um, they are also expanding borders where remaining excellent, not also in-house, but other um, countries. Thank you, Maria. Uh, I'm talking about the competitive analysis today. Uh, let's talk about uh, the service and the competition. Uh, we, are, uh, we are using uh, the uh, hottest five forces along with the three forces. Uh, as you can see, the five forces and 
uh, we have taken additional three courses as well uh, to give you a, a better picture. Next slide, please. So before getting into the details, let's talk about CERTIS. CERTIS is a very successful organization. It's a huge investment, lots of capital, lots of human uh, resources as well. Uh, it's not just security. It's about security combined with digitalization. So the technical knowledge, the specialization for the technical knowledge coming from there. So uh, uh, the, the industry presence of this company is more than 60 years. So within this long time duration, they have managed to build up uh, their customer base. They are loyal and uh, to provide for these customers, they are doing a massive production. In, uh, in that case, they have economies of scale and that is why they can offer their quality product to an affordable price. In this situation, uh, uh, please remember that it is not the previous monopoly with the dissolving of Cisco Act. The company is now in the competition. It's a private, it's privatized company. It's in the market. So, uh, as I said, because of their capital and the technical knowledge, it's very difficult for a new person to get into the industry. So their power, new entrance power is low, but the competitors are really high. Uh, there are lots of trends. Uh, these competitors, they are trying to win over the customers. Uh, the substitutes, of course, there are competitors, so then there are a lot of uh, range of products, so the substitutes are a uh, lot of substitutes, so the, the power is low to moderate. And then coming to the buyers. Uh, the buyers are individual people, they are weak, but as uh, as a collective, they, there are a lot of competitors in the field, so they can go to different uh, different uh, companies to buy. But service is there in the industry for long, they are very mature in, in the market, so they know how to keep the customer. They are continuously improving, so their customers don't feel like going to another place. And then coming to the suppliers, guys, uh, this company is a very good company, which was very hard for us to find any imperfections of the company uh, the, this, uh, in this time. The company has a very strong uh, uh, supply, of, uh, chain, uh, supply chain. So this, if I was a supplier, I would be more than happy to be working with service. So the service has this privilege of replacing any supplier as they want. So the supplier power is also low in this case. <coughs> So, uh, but when you're coming into the outside, these three forces, it, all these three forces are very high and powerful, uh, especially the government regulatory issues. The, the government can any time put any rule, uh, but service, even though it's a uh, very strong organization, they cannot uh, change, uh, they cannot change or challenge the rules. It's the legal system. Uh, the market growth and volatility with the new trends and the computers, it's also very high. And when it comes to the technology, though it's very exhausting, there are lots of changes. If CERT is not going to pick it, somebody else is going to pick it and uh, improve their business. So the technological change is also very high, highly powerful. Uh, then uh, this is the list of the competitors of the company. It's international, as you can see, it's international and local competitors. <coughs> Uh, talking about the IT development, uh, I would like to take the Singapore Changi Airport project as an example. It has set a, a very high benchmark for the aviation security. So because of this, uh, they were integrating these systems, digitalization into the aviation security. General public did need to get benefited uh, with the advanced safety and the comfort uh, in the traveling. At the same time, the government could reach the uh, resource optimization so that they could reduce the waste areas, uh, put those capital into the uh, government welfare projects. And, and then the, uh, their armed forces, they could uh, send uh, to the other countries for the missions. Uh, and guys, um, Throughout these 60 years of industrial presence for service, uh, service has changed lives. Thank you. So if we talk about the digital transformation initiatives by service, so it is basically working on the business process re-engineering and adoption framework. So all the technologies, all the updations is basically is based on this framework. So it mainly focuses on uh, in designing by error reduction, excellent efficiency and productivity, sustainability, and if we talk about, so this company is doing very good in terms of technology and providing solutions to different parts of the world. And it is continuously improving in every context. Next. So basically, it is, work, it is working on these technologies, robotics, drones, IoT, machine learning, data science, artificial intelligence. And with time, they have done so well that they are outstanding, having outstanding performance as compared to other competitors in the markets. So if I talk about the robotics, 
So it is very famously known for its three robots that is Peter, Oscar and Casey. So if you talk as my friends have discussed about the airport in Singapore airport, so the Peter uh, robot it is doing immensely well at to control the traffic with the use of different technologies of like CCTV footage, 5000 plus sensors and a connection of more than 500 devices. It is able to control the traffic so well that the congestion has reduced to an immense level at the airports and people never find any problem in communicating from one place to another in the airport. And if we talk about the IOTs, so this company is mainly focusing on different aspects using IOT technology. So keeping in context with to the facility or the members that are uh, doing work for this company, it has created uh, IOT facilities management system for their employees as well. So basic process for using IOT and using different sensors is to make the, the buildings that they are using to be properly energy efficient so that they are using less energy for their procedures. If you talk about the artificial intelligence, so this company has a, a trademark of being a same Mozart that is basically working the main end at the, in the artificial intelligence to reduce the error so that there is 24-7 availability and also there is proper digital assistance to the users or their customers. And if we talk about the drones, and uh, it is doing very well in, in countries like Australia, where it is using the service of drones as a service. So with this, they are able to tackle the issues related to safety very broadly. And also this is saving their cost, and also time is properly utilized with this technology. And also if we talk about in any company when there is a lot of stuff, lot of data to be managed. So obviously a governing body is also required to manage all the data to have accurate results and proper implementation of data. So in data science they are able to make better, better decisions with this as they are able to manage the data timely in a proper system without any error. So this has increased their efficiency and their customers as uh, friends have told, the people are the customers are totally satisfied with their performance. And if we talk about the outcomes and risk, so the company has mainly focused and is also continuously improving, and they are getting timely predictions. So with a lot of technology uses, the requirement of manpower has reduced, and also customer service has uh, uh, improved. They are able to get smart network surveillance, and also they are to have able to have quick and error free decisions. And risk, yeah, every company has a lot of risk. So if you talk about this company as it is playing with data, so data breaching can be a very uh, immense risk for the company that they need to take care. And also sometimes the technical glitches are also available that need to be undertaken. So the next, my friend will continue. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now I will take you like when I read, read uh, when we have a discussion about this report and we find out some of the issues like the Certis is a very big company we do not find too much issues in the company but these are the some issues we can find it out in the Certis group and they are already working on it and already they have worked on it so there are some like one is cyber security threats second is manpower cost third is manpower availability and evolving customer expectations next slide so. Uh, when we uh, now we, we take the decision matrix to see that what are the ICD trends this company is using and how they are analyzing on those issues with, with this and we find that my friend is already tell, uh, tell you about the robotics how this company is using the robotics in their airports in their like uh, malls to reduce uh, the customer wait time and giving an excellent customer service to all of them next slide so this is a digital tool for the airports what we have suggested for this company like how it will work so we have a Hong Kong airport which is already using this technology so in this how it will be uh, how the digital twin will work see it will help to educate worker using the simulations like it will help to do the same work in the simulation and plan procedure before a test like uh, when, whenever an airport is 
uh, is getting open, they can test it very well that whether this uh, system will work or not by using the digital doing. Imagine the ground level actions, like what they can do in, in the ground level. Next slide, please. So uh, this is a there is a one AI that this company is using, and it's one of the certis. Certis launched applied intelligence solution to battle mosquitoes born diseases worldwide. This is one of the achievement for this company, where they are detecting the uh, mosquito with the use of the AI technology and finding out the female mosquito, which is the cause of the spread of uh, diseases. Next slide. So uh, we found out the some Certis achievement. First, they are the, the Infocom Media Development Authority of Singapore had recognized Certis technology as subsidiary of Certis with the Data Protection Trust Mark. Second, Certis has launched a digital campaign to increase the recruitment of the IT talent and expand the technology sector of workforce. Next, uh, protection of major airports around the world, which includes Sing Singapore Changi City uh, and Hamad Airport in Qatar. This is a major achievement for the uh, Certis group. When they have the Bozart, the Certis, that have oh, no. platform. Next slide. Now my friend Noe will tell you about the fish. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, like my partner said, uh, Certis is a great company, especially this company knows how to face challenge. But uh, anyways, uh, we found as a group two ongoing issues that we, we can explain now through a fish, a fish bowl diagram. So through this, uh, through this scheme, we can see how this company can face those challenges. The first one is is an inside uh, issue is how to modernize service. Okay, uh, first of all, the market. The market in Singapore um, demands new technologies. Also, the government. The government uh, requires to business a uh, big continuum uh, develop technologies. Uh, Actually, in 2020, the government invests a lot of money on on business, so the business are still <laughs> continually uh, become uh, modernized. Uh, so the next step will be uh, service should be uh, look for a new ICT trends, and then they have to elaborate that plan. You know, it's not like this, okay, I wanna buy this machine, or I wanna look for this new technology. A company should make a plan, just for money and and for time, yo. you know? If they make a plan, they will can save money and time. So, and they have to invest on the new technology and then communicate it to, to the customer. So we're talking about advertising. Can you next one? And um, oh yeah, uh, another uh, another ongoing issue that uh, the service is is um, is facing and will be facing in the future also is expansion. What happened with this? Uh, service is in Singapore, but uh, it's also in another country. But he, this company also tries to be. Uh, in a global market, so it needs a plan for expansion. Certainly, uh, should um, should evaluate the opportunity because you know we are from different countries. We are different, so culture is different. So that's why. And also, certainly should be make a plan. And it, this is really important educate the customer because, uh, especially in Singapore, they has uh, a really knowledge about. Uh, Technology and security, but in other countries we don't we don't not using a lot of uh, of these technologies. Okay. All right. So we'll be talking on the recommendations for service. So based on everything we've heard right now, so these are the recommendations which we realized for Certis. First of all, is to strive to use digital twin in airport safety. We can see that they've used it in both some of their airports. But if they use it for more airports, they expand their outreach more. They can be able to maximize the use of digital twin. Protect vital facilities with security robots. Mm -hmm. The use of development of more security robots to help in all the airports and all the uh, structures that they secure would also help them. Check out the newest drone innovations. This is very critical. If they branch into the drone market, if they branch into the, branch into the drone industry, we can find out drone. Now we have drones that actually um, they secure environments by just moving around. 
they float around the, um, the surface area where they're supposed to secure. They just move around and they secure that area. So going, using that will help them more in their airports and their structures. They don't need to have a lot of manpower. They can just have drones securing and moving around, hovering around the airports for security. And then for decision, we go to installation of digital twins. We go into robots will address the issue of manpower shortage. We go into the improvement of client connection. We need better service for everybody. If they improve client service, if they're able to connect more with their customers, it improves their better service and also improves their revenue. Also, investment from overseas may help grow businesses. This is very critical. If they're able to connect more with foreign investors, if they're able to correct, uh, make themselves more attractive to foreign investors, they can improve their revenues and also grow their businesses into more deeper markets, more international deeper markets. For example, they can come into the US, they can come into the UK, they can secure more airports, secure more structures within various global markets. Uh, the use of AI technology will enhance the productivity and decision making, uh, heavy security implementation of cross properties, uh, the addition of fresh IT brains will facilitate the firm's advancements. If they are able to, if they are able to use the IT technologies and use more IT, um, various IT techs to help improve, improve their um, advantage in the market. It creates a strong group for them in the market. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Kim. You completed everything. Good, <laughs> on time, on time. Yes. We're, we're presenting, that's good, yes? Yes. So yes. that's how about discussion, right? Okay. That's a key. Oh. learning part of the kids. Every case have a unique points, and uh, this team provides solution to them. And uh, and uh, what do you think about uh, the solution, right? We could discuss. And, uh, so you always put a case, when you read the case, put the, of well, course you understand the case situation, you put the case in the perspective, yeah? This is why I aim first, right, to see for this case, yeah? And um, so, you know, who have been in Singapore? Yeah, have been in Singapore? Yeah. <laughs> Where else? Have you been there? Over okay. there? Or okay. been there? Okay. It's a small okay. island okay. country, yeah? Okay. Very small. Jesus. Yeah, you are there. You work there? Yeah? Yeah. So it's a very small island. 80%, 70% of the Chinese and about 20% of the Indian. And uh, so it's a very competitive. Yeah, you can see the history that Singapore is uh, uh, independent from Malaysia. Yeah? And uh, so this, this kind of a small island country has to be uh, worked very damn hard in order to make competitive, right? So that's the major thing you should point out, yeah? yeah. And uh, of course, you need to point out the two decision makers. Who are the two decision makers? Yeah, you can read the case. Company and his own employee. Yeah, one CEO, one CTO. You can check uh, Google search, there are a lot of uh, you know, so public speeches there. The main problem yeah. is that the company is facing for the uh, talent, uh, fresh talent. So this for that, they yeah. come with the university itself. Yeah. They come with their university. Okay, okay so I'll give you some idea, right? So you put the company in the perspective, right? So you, you're doing excellent uh, uh, analysis on the aid force, right? So you can see the competition is very key. Because the market is very small, in order to you know uh, survive, you have to uh, you know face a lot of competition from the U.S., from China, from Japan, right? So that's why the company uh, you know face a lot of competition, and uh, the key driver for this maker was this company you know continue grow, yeah, profit, market share, not only in a small island country, also. You know, in China, Australia, Japan, India too, very soon, right? So the market is huge for them, but uh, they have to, um, you know, uh, win over the competition, right? So that's why you identify the, you know, the, the fish bomb, right, to solve this problem, yeah? Got to revenue growth and, uh, and got to market share, right? So how to do that? We need the fish bomb approach. Identify. Then you see what's what's the major part for you guys. You miss the decision matrix. 
the ultimate physician, yeah? Can you go to uh, your options study? Okay, yep. So, so you also saw this company, long time survivor, girls, much there, yeah, right? So there's a couple of options for them to do, right? Um, so basically, this is the same thing you guys have, same problem, right? Use the different nine exclusive technology to solve the problem. But this is overlap, right? For example, decision to, uh, Digital twin can contain all of this, yeah? AI also contain all of this. Without the data collection, without IoT, without the what blockchain is new, that's no AI. You know what I mean, right? So you need to make your um, option, yeah? Very mutually exclusive, all right? For example, on the aggressive adapt to digital twin with the AI, IoT, with all that one, right? This one of the option. Or we do nothing as it is, yeah? I don't care about other market, we just stay in Singapore, right? It could be, yeah? And all identify other options in you know, order to solve the problem, right? For example, pure AI, how well, this could be solve the problem, more problem, right? So then you use the, this is the uh, decision criteria to weigh it, then you make a of decision, right? Yeah? Then you uh, last step based on your digital metrics. You know this is a high weight for you guys. High weight, which is a robotic. Yeah. No, three, four, five, three, seven, five. AI. So AI, AI, and the robotics will like getting the more. Yeah. Where is it? So because AI is a, like they are using drones, they are using a death technology yeah. right now. So, because if you yeah. see that, uh, that the, the for me, your decision matrix is AI, right? Yeah. The solution is AI. Yeah, because yeah. But are, if it, can you go to that slide that yeah. they, they have invented that technology, they are uh, dealing with the mosquito disease to the worldwide. They are giving a solution to the worldwide also. They, wow. with, with the use of AI, they are coming this one. So they are coming to this solution. They are. What they are doing there is that a, a security problem or this is something? You know? so this yeah. is the world problem. Yeah, it's a chaos, 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 security, yeah. right? It's Singapore, they are a body card company. Why do you care about that? That is the no. Singapore it's government but, solution, right? But they, like, so, Professor, they are coming with an idea. They, they are given this solution to the world. Okay. So that's good. I want you to say your solution is AI. How AI used for the body guard services? For example, the airport, continue your program for Changchi Airport. Okay? If next one, Donald Trump and uh, Jin Jun-un be there, right? That's indeed this, this company sources, right? How is that uh, is the main revenue from that, yeah? From the bodyguard services, yeah? So you need to defend how AI apply to airport, okay. apply to uh, bodyguard services, apply for other, you know, uh, security services, hyperspace, right? That's also fine, you need to defend that, yeah? You guys get it, right? So you need to put the company in a competitive environment. Then, what's that threat? Yeah, that is the issue. Oh, there lots of uh, uh, much share or, or, or growth, growth rate, the probability. That is the issue. Then you use fishbone to analyze what causes them. Why? Yeah, the company did very well. The best in uh, Asia. Yeah. Well, the technology changed. A lot of innovation. A lot of demand sources as well, right? Like, uh, you know, uh, US president go to there, right? They need to use some high level sources that don't appear in Singapore, right? So this is the, the uh, you need to do that. Then